Well, hello everybody. Today I am bringing you thrifting for a massive church rummage that I helped host and put on for our church ladies to support our mission group. And so there were a bunch of people who brought items from our church, including myself. So there's some items there that I did put out myself as well. But I thought you would enjoy seeing this and then a pretty large haul at the end, which is at about like two minutes or so is when it starts. So I didn't have a whole lot of time to rummage, film rummaging as I was working the whole time. So enjoy seeing what I get to see here and then my haul at the end. Well, here is the haul from the rummage that I had put on. I'm going to start with the um, home decor type pieces first. So first of all, I got these two beautiful pieces of art um, that will, I think, go in my daughter's room when my youngest moves in with the other. They were $4, so I thought they were so beautiful. This one will hang like this, I guess. Um, and they just kind of matched what I am looking for to redo in their room. And that was from a retail store. Um, we have a lady in our church who has a retail store. And so that was a good steal. And then this frame, I love the detailing on it. So I go from like new <laughs> to uh, vintage here. This was 50 cents. It's just beautiful. I thought it'd be wonderful to have like a family picture in there or something like that even hang it in my girls room too. A mix of modern and vintage would be really pretty. And I found some more ornaments. They were $2 a piece. Um, again, more plasticky to go with my tree. And you will be seeing my home decor tour next week. So I'll quickly throw these on the tree and add them to my home decor. Then I have just this stem of roses. I thought this would be really pretty for springtime in um, one of my vintage pictures or vases that I have. It's probably from a wedding, but um, really cute. It was free to be honest, so that's why I picked that up. And then um, we did half off by afternoon. So this clock ended up being, um, it says five, so I got it for 250. I just think it's so cute. Uh, it kind of has that vintage vibe to it and clocks brand new are so expensive So I thought oh that would be really fun to have this piece either in our kitchen or um, In our bedroom because we don't have one there Sticking with more of a modern artwork here. I guess I have this oh holy night wooden piece I'm not sure if there were decals put on there, but it doesn't have any way to hang it I love the light wood look, but I'm not sure if it's going to match in our home decor or not. So I might gift it. It was $4. Um, I tried it on our piano. It just didn't look quite right there. But I don't really have a long space to set this. So it needs a hook on the back if someone wanted to hang it. But it's beautiful and I don't have a manger nativity scene in our house. So I was thinking that would be really pretty, but I'm not sure if it will work. So it may become a Christmas gift. Then this was a steal of a deal, um, modern again, but this large clock was originally from Hobby Lobby. Um, then the was $5. So these clocks usually run like $60. So I snagged that up because I know my sister loves clocks and collects clocks. 
it uh, it has that modern vibe again to it or farmhouse look and I kind of have a mix of that on a few areas of my home but I don't know if I'll use it in my house or not it may become another gift as well but for five dollars I couldn't pass that up and then just this um, needlework little tea towel with a snowman on it I thought that was so cute so adorable it was 50 cents so I had to pick that up Then this isn't really home decor, so now we're just getting to some random odds and ends. This happy birthday napkin set, taking it back for celebrating my sister and brother-in-law's birthdays, which are on the same day. This country sampler magazine was free, so I snagged that up. Fun to just peruse through those. Then I got this book, St. Nicholas, The Real Story of Christmas Legend, to read to my daughter. It's really interesting, too, because it has... A glossary of some important words um, in it because I think that's important to know what Santa Claus is really based on and not just an imaginary um, person but a real person that um, was very generous and kind and then I picked up this purse it is a Bella Bella Taylor purse. I think it's an Amazon brand, but it retails. This is a new retails for about $40 I saw and the next few things I have already actually listed on Facebook marketplace to sell so I'm selling this And then these Bob Skechers shoes, which are adorable size 7 um, Wish they fit me again. I'm selling these they were a dollar These kids vans I've already sold them so I need to get them shipped off uh, were a dollar actually 50 cents because that's when I picked them up was the half off time Another pair of vans these are men's vans uh, selling these they were 50 cents And then these dr. Scholl's slip-on sandals like never worn condition again I think these were size 7 they were a dollar as well and so I'm selling those so I have those products to be sold and then, nope, I missed this. This one little calendar, it's a two voice, one song, the Harmony Friends calendar to give to a friend who um, I used to work with. So I thought that would be just fun. It's the Day Spring brand. So I thought she would enjoy having that sitting on her desk. All right, the rest are clothes that I just snagged up to either give to family, pieces or um, a couple pieces for myself so just gonna quickly run through these Carter's brand for a niece this cat shirt which is 365 kids this cute little dress and most of these range from 50 cents to a dollar this is old navy brand this black little blouse wonder nation it's really cute in the back actually it's got a little cinch and flowiness in the back these leggings this dress is a little big for my oldest but I think I'm gonna keep it because it's so pretty it'll be really pretty for like Christmas season next year then just this like summer workout tank I'm trying to think ahead a little bit for my daughter because she grows so fast and then just this other Old Navy shirt here. It's shorter in the front than the back, just flowery blueprint. And then these will fit Nevea, my oldest right now. These are Wonder Nation, so that's Walmart brand, I think. Really cute, and she needs some more long sleeves. Um, just a little bit of that ruffle on the side, a split, so cute. And then this one is the turquoise color, same style and everything. So. That was for the kids, and then just two things for myself. I've been wearing a few t-shirts with um, like a cardigan over it for a little more casual yet still kind of dressy look. This one says, let's get lost in love. It's the Massimo brand. That was 50 cents. And then one more long sleeve shirt for myself. That is Old Navy. It might be a little big, so it may not be for myself, but I really like these um, sleeves. It adds a little texture to it, and I don't have anything striped this color. And honestly, I don't know if it was worn because the tag string is still there. So that 
Oh, one more thing. I did get a burlap bow that's on my little Christmas tree here that um, I can insert a clip. And then just these random little art pieces to give to my niece that really loves drawing. Um, and then just have some cute little scripture things on them. So I thought that'd be a good coloring activity for in church or something or on the road. Well, friends, that is everything. It was a fun haul and fun to be able to host that rummage for my women's group at church and just fundraise for missions. So hope you enjoyed seeing what I got and coming along with me on that thrifting adventure. Talk with you guys in my next one.